Welcome, dear friends, to our time of scripture reading for Saturday, September the 30th, 2023. I'm Brian J. Monroe, pastor of Kitimat First Baptist Church in beautiful Kitimat, British Columbia. I read from uh, the selections chosen from the Bible for by the Revised Common Lectionary, which has a three-year cycle to take us through all of scripture. And we are in year A of those three years. The time of the church year is called after Pentecost, and I'm reading from the English Standard Version, if any of you are interested in that. We begin with Psalm 25, verses 1 to 9 of David. To you, O Lord, I lift up my soul. O my God, in you I trust. Let me not be put to shame. Let not my enemies exult over me. Indeed, none who wait for you shall be put to shame. They shall be ashamed who are wantonly treacherous. Make me to know your ways, O Lord. Teach me your paths. Lead me in your truth and teach me, for you are the God of my salvation. For you I wait all the day long. Remember your mercy, O Lord, and your steadfast love, for they have been from of old. Remember, remember not the sins of my youth or my transgressions. According to your steadfast love, remember me for the sake of your goodness, O Lord. Good and upright is the Lord, therefore he instructs sinners in the way. He leads the humble in what is right and teaches the humble his way. A reading from the Old Testament comes to us from the book of the prophet Ezekiel, chapter 18, verses 19 to 24. The prophet writes, Yet you say, Why should not the son suffer for the iniquity of the father? When the son has done what is just and right and has been careful to observe all my statutes, he shall surely live. The soul who sins shall die. The son shall not suffer for the iniquity of the father, nor the father suffer for the iniquity of the son. The righteousness of the righteous shall be upon himself, and the wickedness of the wicked shall be upon himself. But if a wicked person turns away from all his sins that he has committed and keeps all my statutes and does what is just and right, he shall surely live, he shall not die. None of the transgressions that he has committed shall be remembered against him, for the righteousness that he has done, he shall live. Have I any pleasure in the death of the wicked, declares the Lord God, and not rather that he should turn from his way and live? But when a righteous person turns away from his righteousness and does injustice and does the same abominations that the wicked person does, shall he live? None of the righteous deeds that he has done shall be remembered. For the treachery of which he is guilty and the sin he has committed, for them he shall die. Our final reading comes to us from the Gospel according to Mark, chapter 11 verses 27 to 33. And they came again to Jerusalem. And as he was walking in the temple, the chief priests and scribes and the elders came to him, and they said to him, By what authority are you doing these things? Or who gave you this authority to do them? And Jesus said to them, I will ask you one question. Answer me, and I will tell you by what authority I do these things. Was the baptism of John from heaven or from man? Answer me. And the scribes and Pharisees discussed it with one another, saying, If we say from heaven, he will say, Why then did you not believe him? But shall we say from man? They were afraid of the people, for they all held that John really was a prophet. So they answered Jesus, We do not know. And Jesus said to them, Neither will I tell you by what authority I do these things. 
This is your eternal word, Almighty Father God, and we praise you for the generous provision of it to us. Grant, Holy Father, that through the power of your Spirit, your words might be written in our minds, hearts, and souls, wherein it, they can work in us what is good and pleasing to your will. We pray this to your glory in the name of your Son, Jesus Christ, our Lord, our Savior, our soon-returning King. Amen. As always, friends, I commend you for having taken just a few minutes out of your day to listen to the Word of God being read, and it is my deep pleasure and privilege to do this for you. I've taken the references for all the readings for today, both option one and option two, and I've placed them in the description for this video so that you have them at your reference, and so you can go and read those passages for yourself. Until we can be together again, I pray it will be tomorrow for the next scriptures chosen in the lectionary cycle. May you go in the grace and the peace of our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ.